In this Salesforce beginner's guide, we are going to go over all of the crucial features of the Salesforce CRM so that by the end of this video, you are going to learn how to run your business using Salesforce. Now, to get started, we are going to get ourselves a free Salesforce account. I will leave you the link down below. Now, once you are on the Salesforce website, you will just have to click on start free trial right here, and then you can get started with an 30 day free trial. So to begin with, you will have to put in your first name as well as last name, as well as the job title. And then you will have to click on next. Then you will have to put in your phone number. I will just put in um, some random phone number for my country. And then you will also have to actually add an email. I will quickly just add my personal email that I'm going to use for this video. And then you can also set the country or region you are located in. For me, this would be Austria, then just click on next and then at the company. Now as for this video, I will just set up a random test company. So I will just set up a company called Krause uh, Media. And let's say that Krause Media as of now has one to 10 employees and the company's language is going to be English. Okay, then you will just have to agree to these terms of service and then you can start your free trial. And this is how the dashboard is going to look like. Now, this can be a little overwhelming to begin with. So please hang on tightly when I'm actually explaining things. So as you can see, as of right now, we are on the home page. And actually to begin with, Salesforce added some sample data onto our CRM so that we have some data to look at. And basically our home page will give us an overview on what is currently happening in all of our different sections of our CRM. Like right here on the right, we can see our sales pipeline then we can see all of our deals right here as well as how to connect with your customers on the left and so on now to actually get started we are actually going to head over to the account section and we are going to add a new account so basically a new company onto our crm now you are going to have two options for these the first one is to just click on new and then add all of your information and you can actually also just import contact details or in our case uh, account details from either other CRM softwares or just from your plain Excel file and so on. Now Salesforce is going to walk you through that process. So I will actually show you how to just add an account um, like uh, the manual way is basically. Then you will have to add an account name. I will just name this Marcus Company. And then you can also add all sorts of other information. Now, these informations aren't actually, you don't need to actually fill these out. However, just make sure to fill out every, all of the information that you will actually have and the information that you don't have, obviously you will just leave blank. Now you can also add additional informations like descriptions and so on. So if you have multiple employees and if multiple people are actually going to use the Salesforce CRM, this could be actually useful so that they can actually navigate around easier and so on. But for now, I will just quickly save this. And now we have our first company or also called account added onto our CRM. Now we can actually head over to the lead section and we could then also add new leads if we would want to. So for example, if we would add a new lead right here, which is going to, uh, which is going to have the lead status, um, let's say new, then we can say that the salutation is going to be a Mr. And the first name is going to be John and last name is going to be Johnson. So you can see I'm really creative with this, but either way, you can also add the company. So let's just say that this company would just be John Company. Um, and then you can add this new, new lead by clicking on save. And now you're going to see the lead overview. And this is basically going to be similar for all of the other overviews as well, like for the accounts overview and so on. On the left, you will have your information basically. On the right, you will have all those sorts of different things that you can add on top of your information. And right here in the middle, you are going to have the status of your lead basically. So let's say that, okay, by now this status new is basically completed. Then we could just click on this mark status as complete mark. And now we are on the next status called working. We can then also add new tasks right here, as well as new events if we would want to. 
But for now, I will just head over to contacts and then I'm also going to add a new contact right here. And then once again, this is going to be the same procedure all over again. We will have to add a salutation, name and so on. However, one thing which is actually important to keep in mind is that if we would, for example, want to add a um, contact for our Marcus company we've set up earlier, we could, do, we could do that by first of all adding our name right here. So let's just say that uh, our Marcus company lead has the contact Marcus Wilson. Um, and then we can actually add the account onto this uh, contact. So basically we con can connect both of these things by simply just clicking on account name right here and then setting Marcus company as uh, basically as the account name. We can then also add all sorts of other information right here. Once again, once you're ready, just click on save. And now you're going to be redirected to the contact overview where you can once again on the left see all of the information. On the right, you can add additional information and so on. Once you're on the opportunities panel right here, you can actually see that uh, basically this is just going to be an overview of all of the different opportunities and basically within these opportunities you can see these the stages that the opportunities are in and so on and you can actually change the view so for example I actually really like the Kanban view which is going to look something like this so basically this is just going to be your sales uh, sales land pipeline basically which you probably already know from other CRM tools if you have worked with other CRM tools in the past but basically you can just drag these deals around and depending on where you are going to put these deals um, your deals are going to be marked uh, within different kind of stages within your deal sales line process. So basically we can get started with the qualification phase. So if this global media deal right here, which is a sample data, actually is, um, is in the qualification phase and is successful, we can then add it to need analysis. So basically this just means that people need, have, need to look over this to actually build up a proposal and then once we are ready with this we will have to add this to proposal then to negotiation and then if this deal is one we can uh, basically add it onto closed one we can also basically um, change these qualification and change these phases right here essentially but first of all you can just add a new list right here and then you can also basically change everything right here using the settings if you would want to. But for now, I will actually just head over to the calendar. Now this calendar is actually super useful because if you, for example, are going to add a meeting on tour, let's say that you want to actually add a meeting for this Salesforce 210 widget opportunity right here, then you could do that by first of all, clicking just, uh, just clicking on new event right here. And then you will have to first of all, set the start date. So I will just select 31st, then you will have to select the time uh, th this is going to start as well as the end time and so on. And now you can just uh, basically add this as a meeting, click on save. And now this is actually going to show up in your calendar view. And obviously this is super useful to just organize all of the meetings, organize all of the tasks that you are going to have on your Salesforce CRM. As for the forecasts right here, you can basically just see an overview of all of the amounts that you will most likely earn in the coming months and so on. As for the dashboard right here, you can actually click on new dashboard on the top right and then you can um, basically customize your ta uh, dashboard so that you can basically add new components. For example, let's say that, okay, we want to add um, this activities by salesperson and then we are going to select this. We're going to display this as a bar chart and then we are going to add this. And basically you can just continue this process once you actually build up your dashboard, which is pretty useful to actually see all of the numbers right away so that you don't have to go in depth and so that you don't have to waste time essentially. As for reports right here, here you can see all of the different reports and under the quote section, you can also create quotes for your clients. Now that's basically it. If you want to know what what actually is the best CRM out there, make sure to watch this video right here. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments down below.